Boom Shakalaka. This is Rob Hamilton from Soul Canyon Training and Development with another Word Essentials tutorial. You know, when you're trying to uh, take a page of text, in fact, I have a page of text here where I'm explaining to people in the Word Essentials program how to save a file. Sometimes you want to put a little graphic in here. Now, I've set this graphic up to where I can actually drag it and move it around and position the text relative to it. Now, if you've ever tried to put a picture or a screenshot or a snip off a page on a page of text and you haven't been able to move it around like this, you might be going, wow, how is he doing that? Well, I am going to show you. Let's say down here, I want to put another little picture, a picture of a file saving into a folder. Um, as I have this bottom of the page here where I show people how to save and save as. So what we're going to do is we're going to first get that picture in there. We're going to come up here to the insert ribbon tab and we're going to come down here to pictures. I'm just going to go right over here to this picture of a file saving into a folder and double click on it. Now it brings it right here into the uh, into the page of the document. And as you can see, this is probably very familiar if you've never figured out how to do this because I'm trying to click on the image and move it around and I can't. And it's very, very frustrating. So what I can do, and this is what I used to have to do in the older versions of Microsoft, is there is a contextual ribbon tab. Now, since this is a graphic image, it says picture format, uh, contextual ribbon tab, with some different things I can do with this image, like color corrections, we'll do that in a different tutorial, artistic effects, things like remove background and stuff like that. What we're gonna focus on here is wrapping text. This wrap text button allows you to position the graphic on the page that has text with it in lots of different ways relative to the text that's there. Now what I want to show you is we're not going to do it from up here in the ribbon area. We're actually going to do it down here. Starting in 2016, Office 365, what they did is they took the uh, wrap text button and they put it as an automatic uh, set of adjustments you can do right there next to the image, right after you've inserted the image. So let's go ahead and click on that and select wrap text tight. Now this allows us to go ahead and grab the image. You see what it's doing here? Not only can I move it anywhere I want it, but you see how the text is tightly adjusting. And let's say it allows me now to put it right down here. If I were to select uh, wrap the text so that you can actually put the image behind the text, it would allow you to do something like this, which is kind of a cool effect with some images. If you set it up to where it was going to wrap square, then wherever you put it, it would try to do like a total justification and squarely wrap the text around the image. But what I'm going to stick with here is wrap text tight. And then that gives me the most flexibility of being able to put the image and have it have its own space, but put it relative to however the text in the most uh, flexible way possible. So there you go, wrap text. That's a great little thing to know if you want to incorporate pictures or clip art or images or shapes or anything like that on a page with words. It allows you to move it wherever you want it and position it relative to the text on the, uh, on the page. So there you go. Another great word essential skill that you have now that you've uh, tuned into this program. Enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you with the next tutorial shortly.